Hi everybody. The compact crossover SUV RAV4 Prime can perform a variety of tasks that would normally require two or three vehicles. It is a master of none of them. It has an electric range that doesn't produce any emissions, hybrid efficiency for longer journeys, and enough room for cargo and passengers to make it suitable for families. It also has a lot of power, with 302 combined horsepower from the gas engine and two electric motors, making the RAV4 Prime the second fastest Toyota vehicle after the GR Supra, with a time of 5.9 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. The RAV4 Prime is like a more refined version of the RAV4 Hybrid. It has a larger battery and electric motors that are more powerful, giving it an estimated electric range of 42 miles and a combined fuel economy of 38 miles per gallon after that is exhausted. The RAV4 Prime easily surpassed that benchmark during our testing, traveling 48 miles solely on battery power. As a result, the RAV4 Prime outperforms its plug-in SUV competitors, including the Hyundai Tucson PHEV, Kia Sportage PHEV, and even the Volvo XC60 T8 Extended Range, all by significant margins. Although the RAV4 Prime has 33.5 cubic feet of cargo space compared to 37.6 cubic feet for the standard RAV4, there is still ample room for bulky items. The RAV4 Prime accelerates significantly faster than its hybrid or standard siblings. In typical commuting conditions, the RAV4 Prime is also smooth and simple to drive. Sadly, Toyota has not provided any form of dynamic athleticism to support the powerful powertrain. Additionally, the electronic driver assistants panic at the slightest provocation. The pedal feel of the RAV4 Prime is too soft. In our testing, the panic stopping performance was below average for a small SUV. There are enough adjustments in the driver's seat to make it simple for you to find a comfortable position to sit in. However, there are fewer adjustments for the front passenger seat, which may result in a few complaints during lengthy journeys. The superior thigh support of the rear seats is also worthy of praise. The RAV4 Prime's ride quality is more about comfort than performance, making it easy to navigate bumps in the road. For ease of use, the controls are labeled accurately and arranged logically. Another issue is the touch screen's excessive distance from the driver. Most infotainment interactions are quick, simple, and free of distractions thanks to the 9-inch screen that is available. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, and it responds quickly. Most of the time, Toyota's advanced driver aids work as they should. Nevertheless, there is ample space for all of your luggage, and the rear seats can be folded down with minimal effort. The RAV4 will please parents of young children. Finding and connecting safety seats to the lower car seat anchors is simple. The issue is the front passenger seat, which is too hot. Fuel economy The RAV4 Prime easily covered 48 miles of our standard evaluation route using only electric power. Similar to the RAV4 Hybrid, we got about 34 mpg on average once the gas engine started working. The RAV4 Prime costs significantly more than the regular RAV4. When compared to purchasing a regular RAV4 Hybrid, the cost of a Prime will take a while to recoup due to the gas savings alone. 
The Prime's build quality is good enough to justify the price, and this plug-in hybrid model only has some nice extras. Toyota's standard warranty for hybrid components is extended. The RAV4 Prime is an admirable plug-in hybrid SUV, despite its disappointing performance and driving entertainment. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.